Week number 50 here in the U.S., guys. I am back. That's right. I have spent an entire year in Germany, and it is now finished. And I'm back home right now. This is my wonderful desk, my computer, and everything, of which I first started this. And I even started my blog back in May 2013 is when I started my blog, when the Mayfest was going on here in Covington. And so, guys, I'm going to have to run through the week because I did quite a lot. It was, it's been such a busy freaking week. Um, let's see. On Monday, Jan and I went to the Volkswagen Museum after I did my official stuff, closed my bank account, deregistered from the city, blah, 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 all that stuff that you guys don't need to know about. No, I'm kidding. But it was nothing special, and it took, like, an hour to finish it all, transportation and everything, so I was pretty early actually for when Jan and I met and the Volkswagen Museum, well it was actually the factory, it was pretty neat. Uh, they only manufacture about 28 cars per day, but they're very customized, they're all like hand assembled and everything, there's almost no robots or assembly lines and stuff like that. And honestly chilled that night. Uh, right after the World Cup was won, you know, and, you know, just chilled together, enjoyed each other's company, sat down and ate, and then on Tuesday, Trez and I left early that morning, said goodbye to our host families, and we're on our way to Frankfurt to meet the other Pay Pay Palers, and in Frankfurt, we met up with, let's see, Patty, Matt, Casey, Stefan, and then there was the six of us, we went to Chipotle, which you guys are going to see a little bit of. And after that it was amazing. We branched off and got a bunch of beers because we were enjoying the last day that we would be able to drink uh, out in public. Because you can do that in Germany and you can't do that here in the U.S. It doesn't work like that. And so we enjoyed ourselves and you guys are going to see my hair here, this, that I need to cut soon in a ridiculous state, but for the sake of comedy and I don't really care, it's going to be on the video and I hope you guys like it. And so early on Wednesday, we met all of the pay pay palers at the airport, ended up finding it just fine, got there early, luckily they took my baggage, I mean the bag was a couple pounds overweight, but they took it, thank god. And it was basically my whole suitcase was filled with stuff that I had acquired in Germany. Literally just tons of souvenirs or whether it be a couple coats that I took with me or whatever. And of all of the gifts and everything that I broke back and everything that I brought back, that's including a couple plates, one of them being mice and porcelain. Yes, guys, I did buy some and gave it to my grandma. She loved it, by the way. Really awesome that I was able to get a piece of that for not a bad deal. And so, nothing, absolutely nothing of mine got broken, nothing is lost, and I'm home free. So glad. Our Lufthansa flight was so epic. It was on a double-decker jet, you guys can see there. Absolutely friggin' epic. And I had never flown on a flight that nice, other than when I came here. Like, you fly like a king, even in economy class in Lufthansa. They bring you free drinks, you end up getting a meal. It's literally unlimited beer, wine, uh, Coke, Cola, stuff like that, uh, cognac, and Baileys. Yeah, guys, that's pretty ridiculous. I only capitalized on that a little bit because I didn't want to be all hampered and stuff when it was 1 o'clock in Frankfurt, or sorry, 1 o'clock in New York when we actually got there. So, I still enjoyed myself, watched a few movies, saw, let's see, Robocop, and then The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Robocop was absolutely epic, guys. Go watch Robocop. That was a great remake. And then Secret Life Walter Mitty was alright, but it could have been better. I feel like it could have been better. Like, it was very pretty, but the story was kind of lacking, I would say. <clears throat> the story was anticlimactic, actually. Um, but don't listen to me, guys. Go watch it if you want to. It was still a pretty decent film, gotta say. Wednesday, we got to, well, I already talked about Wednesday, we got to New York, got to our hostel, it was a lot smaller than I thought it was, the hostel was kind of eh, but it was in the middle of Manhattan, so I guess what do you expect as far as space goes? And then we honestly just went to Chipotle, 
They took us to Chipotle, gave us a food stipend, and I ended up eating a little bit there. And after that, we ended up walking about an hour to get Taco Bell. Matt really wanted Taco Bell, like, really, really bad. We finally actually found one at Madison Square Garden. God, that took forever to get there, but Taco Bell was delicious, and I tart. And I tried Tim Hortons, which I had heard about. It's only in Canada, Canada, whatever you want to call it. And up north, and it's like the Krispy Kreme equivalent. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't know about Krispy Kreme, but it was good. And then on Thursday, we woke up really early in the morning, actually, to, well, shower and pack up our stuff. We had to be checked out by 7 a.m., and we left all our luggage there, and off we went to the German embassy in the U.S. There's an ice cream truck outside. I'm not used to hearing that. They don't have any ice cream trucks in Germany. I don't know. They just don't. And we ended up listening to a few speeches. The first being from the German consulate and I believe the German ambassador to the US. I think. I'm not positive though. He was a new guy and so I'm not really sure about that. And then the second guy was the former US ambassador to Germany. He was a really cool guy. I'm going to include one of his talks in my video because talks about how awesome study abroad is and everything and how he did it and he wished he did it earlier in his life and so guys listen to this if you're gonna study abroad do it early on in your life when you're not tied down when you don't have things to worry about just do it do it early do it from the age of anywhere between 15 16 to like 25 like that is your prime time because you're still growing as a person. Well, your mind's still growing, honestly. You're always growing as a person, but your mind's still growing. And you, I guess when you're younger, I would say you're more open-minded. I think as you get older, you get a little more, your mind closes up a little bit. At least that's what I've noticed as far as most people go about their ideas and everything. So go when you're younger. It, it would, it's, there's nothing better in the world. Said it a million times, but there is nothing better in the world and so Thursday yep did that and then we got a few more speeches from the awesome people at CBYX thank you guys so much it was a wonderful seminars wonderful talks and this is just a wonderful program pay 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 CBYX what do you want to call it it's a wonderful program and I'm glad I got the experience and to any other 31st year Pay Pay Paylers or CBYXers, I wish you all the best of luck. You guys will have the most amazing year of your life, that I promise you. And so on Thursday, later on, Trez, Patty, Matt, and I went into an Irish bar and I tried my first Irish car bomb. And if you guys don't know what that is, go look it up. That is absolutely delicious, but it was really, really, really expensive. I didn't look at that. It was like $13. I thought it was going to be like $7.50 and so I'm like, Jesus. Uh, so it was kind of expensive. And after that, we ended up meeting up with Quasi after we said bye to Trez and Bree. And we went into the city and we ended up meeting Haley and Victoria. Had a few drinks, walked around Times Square, and then I ended up walking home and got myself ready to come home on Friday. Coming home was... Oh, I was happy. It was so happy. I was so glad to be back in the U.S. and I was trying to... I feel like a foreigner still in my own country, but I'm really starting to ease into it. But all the German guys, it's still here and everything. Don't worry. And so I got off the plane on Friday. I actually had to transfer in Philadelphia and had like a two and a half hour layover. But I just watched Doctor Who and I was fine and content. Had food and everything I needed, so absolutely no worries about that. And then later on that day, about 5 p.m., 5.30, I landed in Cincinnati, and I was so close to home, so happy to be there. I missed my family so much, and as I was walking to get my baggage, I didn't expect to see them until the front of the airport or whatever. There, my dad walks out, and I'm just, is this real? Really? Are you serious? It's right there? And then uh, some stuff out of a movie, my brother comes, and then my mom walks out of like the side where I couldn't see them, it was some movie shit, and hugged them, and it was great to see them, it did feel like real life, and they all kind of looked like they got shorter to me, I think I actually just got taller while I was in Germany, maybe their their jeans rubbed off on me a little bit because they're typically taller creatures, 
And so the first thing we did was go to Five Guys Burgers and Fries and enjoy a good burger there. Came home, saw my dog. You guys are going to see a bit of that. He he was really confused as to who I was. I think he was a little put off. He's like, who the hell is this person all happy to see me and petting me a bunch? Like, leave me alone. I don't know who you are. He was really confused, I think. And he warmed up me after a little while. And, you know, he's just a cool-ass dog. So... <laughs> Saturday I visited with my uncle and he came over and my dad and we all drank beers together and it was a fun time, it was great. Sunday we went and visited my grandma, it was great to see her too, brought her more gifts and whatnot and of course I've been given gifts all over the place, things and whatnot. And then Monday, which was yesterday, sorry guys this video is coming up a little late but I've been awful busy seeing everybody. Uh, I actually went to Jungle Gyms. You guys remember Jungle Gyms if you watched my videos in the very start. It must have been two or three weeks before I went to Germany. I went with my mom to Jungle Gyms and we actually stopped at La Rosa's before then. And that is a pizza restaurant that is local to this area. La Rosa's is really good, really awesome. Uh, I had a calzone, so good. And then we went to Jungle Gyms and I actually, most of the stuff I picked up was all German related. Who would have, who would have thought, I guess. I picked up German beer, a German brand of liquor cake, which I don't know if it was actually German because it was typically too sweet for to be German. Sorry about the thing, guys. Is the thing gonna... this better not fall. I'm gonna hold this, guys. Sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit, but this box is about to fall open. And so, Jungle Gyms was pretty awesome, I have to say. I went with Ben and my brother, and so that sort of ends out our adventures, guys. I'm sorry it couldn't end out a little more climactic, but I'm just sort of winding down, seeing all my friends and everything. You guys know how it goes. And so I've had a lot of fun making these videos, and I appreciate all of my viewers, and I hope to be able to do videos in the future. There might be even be one coming up this weekend. We will see. Depends on where I go. I'm either going to a bluegrass festival or going to a gun and knife show. I'm not sure yet. Probably will go to the bluegrass festival, I think, because my dad's been wanting to go to that for quite a while. And so we will see about that, guys. I really appreciate it once again. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'm going to stop talking now, guys. I'm sure the video's been going quite long about me just blabbering on about things. So you guys know how we do this. Let's see what we did for the week. And here we were, guys, at the Volkswagen factory in Dresden, Germany. It's a very modernized-looking building, and it was pretty awesome. There is Jan right there. That was the last time we did anything together. So sad. And here is me playing Starbound on the train with Trez. We were just trying to entertain ourselves when we were going to Frankfurt. We were on the train to Frankfurt. That guy has an absolutely epic beard. Jeez. And here's a bit of the city of Frankfurt. It is a very modern looking city. I think that's probably because it's the most American looking city. And they actually have skyscrapers there. So those things are actually not native to them, guys. They might actually know what our cities look like. I think your brain, brain died before it started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> not yet. No, hold on, hold on. Just like twist like uh, this. See the, that one. The, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now you need something to hold it. Like a spoon. Fresh up. Uh, <laughs> and like hold it up with a hot dog, just like dress up. Matt, are you excited? Yeah. But it's not Good. like the typical red and white spider bed. It's like... Yeah, you're it's all. We were at this restaurant enjoying our very last meal in Germany, our very last German meal, and of course, I had to go with Wiener Schnitzel. I am a grown ass woman. 
enjoying my You're a strong, independent personal vengeance against get a certain. Do you want a chocolate? <laughs> I have actually chocolate. It's from it's from no, I don't want it. Like, are you serious? I have a lot of chocolate too. Chocolate, Does anyone want chocolate? Chocolate. chocolate. Uh -huh. Give us a minute. Like, I'll put my hair. Hi, Andrews. Hi, Sean's. Hi, Sean's. There's only one of me. <laughs> she was like talking with the guy over there. And I was like, Hi. 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 <laughs> Hey Derek. Is this, uh, is this the last one? This is the last one. Oh. <laughs> so sad. Uh. Hi. Hey, am I being filmed? What? Am I being filmed? Yeah. USA! Hi Nancy. Hey Boo. Sam. The elusive David. He's only been on a video one time. And now he's on two times. Really? Jeremy's first time. <laughs> Maybe second time. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Did you, did you get half hmm. security? Oh, oh, that's so sad. Hi, Shannon. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, man. We were actually on the bus here from the airport, and this is the graveyard in New York City. Well, not the graveyard, but it's probably the largest graveyard in New York City because, guys, that's a lot of graves. That's a lot of dead people. Pretty ridiculous, but actually kind of interesting. Finally, some not copyrighted music. <laughs> Here we were walking the streets of New York, guys. You can tell the scenery has changed quite a bit, honestly. Uh, the buildings are tall, the people are faster moving. The world around us is going a thousand miles an hour. And I gotta say, it was a bit of a love-hate relationship that I had with New York. I was so ecstatic to be home and so ecstatic to be in an American city, but New York was actually kind of scary to me. I mean, I am from Covington. It's a kind of small city. Cincinnati's not that big, but yeah. So New York was still cool. Matt, what did we just walk an hour to get? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Better be delicious. Patty's over there somewhere. Where are we? Madison Square Garden? I think so. I think so. What is that? Verde salsa. Green salsa. Will you marry me? No. Projected on video. Here we were, I believe, in Madison Square Garden Station. And we were talking about free Wi Fi, how you never get that in Germany, which is true. Free Wi Fi is non existent in Germany because they're stingy. They make you pay for everything. Oh, poor Germans. Yeah. What is this bullshit? It's a bullshit. People are in line. I think it's for. I think it's for the airport. Nobody got no damn bags with them. Nobody got bags. Well, maybe they aren't actually traveling like. across countries and stuff. Hard to say. Here we were walking near Times Square, of course, with all of the crazy video advertisements, things the likes of which I haven't seen before. And coming up, guys, here is Trez pulling some moves. Trez, I animated the camera with my hand, too. Followed you, bam. So this was all of us on Wednesday, and we searched a bit around New York and ended up crashing late. Maybe like a little... Thirdly, I wish I'd done on an exchange program. So interestingly enough, I actually did go on an exchange program. Goldman Sachs asked me in my 30s 
to go run the Frankfurt office for Goldman Sachs, which had responsibility as president for Germany, but also Switzerland, Austria, and some of the, at that point, this is 20 odd years ago, the emerging countries in Eastern Europe. Uh, I had no German background, I had no language experience, but it transformed me. Separately, my wife, not then my wife, we weren't together at that point, uh, had a similar experience where she went to London. Then we met, got married, and we both immediately compared notes and said, God, if only we had done what we did when we were younger. So we committed, you know what, we're going to find a way to do this for our kids. Now, I never dreamed I'd be a U.S. ambassador in Germany. This was a theoretical discussion that we had at the time. But our kids have been transformed. They literally have been transformed by the four years we spent. They're significantly younger than you all are. We've got our oldest has got a 17th birthday tomorrow. Oh. So we're, we're, they're lagging a little bit behind your generation. But it transformed them. And you're young enough where it will transform you. I guarantee you, when you're 90 years old, when you're 110 years old, as Frank Sinatra used to say, which I love, May you all live to be 100 years old, and may the last voice you hear be mine. <laughs> <laughs> I actually forgot to mention beforehand that we went to this Mexican restaurant, I believe it was called... Actually, I don't remember what it was called, I'm sorry guys. Um, and the burritos there were absolutely excellent, and I ended up ordering my first alcoholic drink here in America, and it was a margarita, a lime margarita like typical and it was delicious because margaritas are just good I mean in general and there's Justin in the background waving around and this was some of the last times that the Pepe Palers would actually be on film at least all together that was the last time oh that's kinda sad here we were at the Apple store but oh, yeah was sad yeah. <laughs> yeah that was really <laughs> <laughs> We never figured out what he was saying. <laughs> there was a man that blessed us in Frankfurt with an umbrella. He was going around to everybody and he was like, buh, 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 you guys didn't catch on we were talking about a guy back in Frankfurt during January when we were there for our seminars and he was blessing people with an umbrella that was pretty crazy and here guys coming up in the next part of the video is me and America five guys with my family now you guys can dig in I'm just finally here with the family we are at five guys burgers and fries and it's really surreal to see them right now. Um, and this burger looks delicious. So next thing you guys will see is when we get home and I get to see Roscoe. Yay. Order, tall order of fries. And a tall ass order of fries. Correct. And so guys, I actually decided to take the audio out of this video because you know when you talk to your dog or a baby, you usually sound absolutely ridiculous and embarrassing. And so you should only do it around people that also do the same thing. And so, as you can see there, he is sort of just confused about who I am and everything. He's interested, but he's just, he's confused. And then he actually warms up to me here in a minute after I do that and then pet him to death. And he's been a good dog here lately. Need to go take him for a walk. Guys, hopefully adopting a new dog soon. Probably will put him or her on video. All right, we so we're gonna them. retake this. I was too focused on the dog to notice that there was streamers everywhere, and there's a little creature. Hi, and that there's balloons, and oh, this is so nice, guys. I already popped open a beer. You guys know how I do. Uh, Bob the rate the deer. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Ah, I feel wrong not taking my shoes off to be in a German houses for too long. They're so against that. Well, we can do it. We okay. can make it. Roscoe drinking out of the pond. It's raining, Roscoe. Go inside. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, babe. Come on, Roscoe. You guys be careful. Going to drive for the first time. Tim's going to show me how he can drive. No donuts. Yes, no donuts. Uh, that's not promised. No, seriously. Okay, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at that for free, guys. These are small. 
Tim, tell me where we are. We're in La Rosa's. What's La Rosa's? What's La Rosa's? What? What's La Rosa's? a pizza place. That's only in the trash can. Yeah. And they both work at La Rosa's, actually. Yeah. Not this one, though. Now we're not burnt out yet, but in the distance. And there's Jungle Jim's adventure coming. I have a calzone. Yeah. I'm gonna go enjoy that shit now. As you guys probably know, Jungle Gyms is one of my favorite stores of all times. They have an unlimited amount of food and stuff everywhere. And so that was a fun little adventure of ours. Squirrel! Mimicking a fly right now. <laughs> just do the. Uh, Tam, just stop the <laughs> What are you doing, me? Yeah, I'm listening. Cumberland Falls, and they had rock candy, and it was blueberry flavored, and it looked just like the stuff they use in Breaking Bad. <laughs> but it tasted really good. And that crystal. Crystal. I bet. So guys, the video is coming to an end. This whole experience was absolutely amazing. And guys, I will see you in the next video. And I don't really know how to end this video out, guys. Um, I'm sure you will see me in the future working on this channel, I'm sure. And so I'll see you guys next video.